After I saw the reaction of women to Thumb and Louise, I became very um, picky over what I wanted to portray because I was thinking, well, you know, now I realize how much it means to the women in the audience how the female characters are portrayed. So I want to, you know, um, choose roles they can at least identify with in some way. But uh, it was really when I had a daughter and she was a toddler and I started watching preschool shows and G-rated videos with her. And maybe because I'd had those experiences, I immediately noticed that there seemed to be far more male characters than female characters than what we're making for the littlest kids in the 21st century. So I, I just couldn't believe it. And I started uh, mentioning it. I didn't intend to like start an institute instantly for this. Uh, I just started mentioning it around town in my industry when I had meetings with whoever, director, producer. I'd say, have you ever noticed how few female characters there are in movies made for kids? And every single person said, no, that's not true anymore. No, that's been fixed. And they would name movies very often with one female character as proof that gender inequality had been fixed. And they were very sincere. They were like, we care about girls here. We, you know, we think about it all the time. And I thought, wow, th this is not adding up. How can the people making it not realize how few female characters are. So that's when I decided, I want to get the data. I, uh, I want to make sure that I'm right, but also maybe that would have an impact. And, and that's how the whole thing started.